Runk. <laughs> well, guys, hey, how's it going? Uh, I will be in the Covina Laugh Factory October 12th to the 14th. Uh, working on some new stuff. I will be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan, Orlando, Florida, Fort Myers, and a bunch of different dates coming up. Philadelphia, Trenton, New Jersey is on sale now. Trenton, New Jersey, home ta- uh, home state. Uh, so go to chrislea.com to get those tickets. Uh, and then we've got the absolutely the uh, most uh, uh, wanted uh, merch, which is awesome. We've got the pocket stay deep tees. Um, and the decals for the car. It's just great, dude. Show your love. Show your part of this cult. Life rips merch. Life rips hoodies and uh, pants and all that. And join our cult flannels, which are absolutely ill. Uh, ChrisLea.com. And without that, welcome to everyone's favorite health and wellness podcast. Congratulations. Crazy. Crazy. Speaking of health and wellness, uh, I will say, since this is everyone's favorite health and wellness uh, podcast, uh, my son, I I was about to start the podcast 20 minutes ago until I opened the door before I started just to check on stuff, and my son Calvin was feeding my son William petroleum jelly. So there we go. So that's good. So I went out there, and I, I... it's never as bad as you think it is. Well, I shouldn't say never. It, you know, I'm good at not going to DEFCON 10 anymore immediately for stuff, you know. And uh, Calvin just says, look, look, Dad, I'm feeding him milk. And I look, and he's got his finger in the petroleum jelly, in the Vaseline. And I say, wait, oh, okay, cool. And I was like, wait a minute, what? And he was like, I'm feeding Billy uh, petro- uh, uh, milk. And I look and I said, oh, well, show me what you're doing. And sure enough, he stuck it in, scooped it, and went to go put it in his mouth. And man, I went to uh, say, I said, oh, no, 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 buddy, that's not food. That That's not food. That's, that's, don't do that. And he got, oh, dude, I actually, it's actually weird because I was trying to not, well, I didn't want to flip out. I didn't want to scare Calvin. But then also, don't feed your brother. <laughs> Wax. Yeah, Min- don't feed your brother mineral oil. Now, the only reason why I know mineral oil and certain natural waxes in Vaseline and petroleum jelly is because I looked it up. Because I looked it up because after my son gave my son Vaseline, so now I'm more knowledgeable. Really, so really, there's an upside to everything. I could be like, oh no, you know, Billy's gonna get a stomachache, or I could be like, you know what? Now I have knowledge. What makes Vaseline? And also, besides that, what makes uh? If it's dangerous or not, it's not so bad. I went to call Kristen. She wasn't home, and um, and I said, uh, uh, this happened. And she said, well, just look it up. And I looked it up, and it's fine. Anyway, dude, so if your son feeds, or if you're, you know, anyone gets into some petroleum jelly, it's actually probably a nice delicatessen in some certain, certain areas, but uh, delicacy, delicatessen, idiot. Uh, that's a deli. So that's a place where you go to get meat and all that stuff. Been eating real nice, dude. I'll tell you what, dude. I ate real nice. And I've been eating real nice. All right. Now I'm natty. Okay. I know everyone is like, how is he so, he's, he's not natty, right? And he's like, because he's veed out, his shoulders going for days and he's got film crews on the back. But also, I just lift up my shirt and you don't see Palumboism, right? So I'm obviously natty. Okay. My stomach isn't sticking out like, I, I, like I'm three months, four months pregnant. All right. My sides aren't hardened. Because they're storing too many carbs or whatever the fuck that that Palumboism is. By the way, do you know what Palumboism is? It's when your your stomach you're so juiced that your stomach is distended and it, it, it's popping out. And it's and I was like, why is it called Palumbo in a Palumboism? Because the first guy on record to get it was named somebody Palumbo. And I'm like, oh, dude, worst. Like at least Lou Gehrig's disease can like kill you. Palumboism, you just kind of look like Dalsam, you know. And that's so gross, right? And so now you just look it up. Look up Palumboism. Here, we'll, we'll show you a little bit of it. But it's like distended tummies and shit. And it's like you're all buff, but also you brag. So it's disgusting, dude. Really buff guys are fucking absolutely disgusting. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Hey, guy, 
chill out. What are you doing? What do you make? Fucking 30 grand a year, you know? These guys are like, I'm competing for the IFBBBBB Pro. Something shouldn't be, what are those anagrams and ac- acronyms? Whatever those things are, there's too many of them. There, 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 too many letters, done. I'm competing for the IFBBBBB Pro. I, I was the winner of the fucking IPBFBBF Pro in Utah. SLC, IPBFPBO, SLC, Utah, USA, PBO. Uh, it's too much, dude. You, hey, also, you're short. Dude, the people, every you look at the, all, all the people who are bodybuilders are like 5'9 and 5'8 and shit. And it's like, just chill. Hey, you're short. If you're really big and a bodybuilder, here's the other thing. You're going to die soon. We want me to look at the thing? If you're really big and you're going to be a bodybuilder, if you're like 6'5", six, six, you're going to die soon, dude. You know? Work out a healthy amount. Eat enough chicken. Uh, where, where's the link you want me to put? Click. At the top. Oh, favorite bodybuilder video. Dude. Oh, yeah, this shit. But there's music to it, right? Yeah, he does the... Dude, this guy's like so big. It's, it doesn't matter if there's music. We'll get demonetized. You'll cut out the music. You'll cut, cut out the music and you'll just make it silent. Is what you're saying? Okay, I'll just make it silent then. Here we go. Muscle Mania. Here we go. Chul soon at the 16 Muscle Mania University show. Universe show. This idiot. So he's he's posing. These guys look absolutely terrible. Like, it doesn't look good. What the fuck so not natural. Everyone's doing steroids, you know? And why do they pretend like they're not? Littlest penises, too. And not because they're necessarily little, but because the muscles are so big, it makes it look... Pe- and this is all... No, the, the, let me just... So, okay, before we even really get into this video, the worst thing is being this buff, okay? The second worst thing, honestly, I think, the two. there's two worst things in the world that... Uh, in the category of uh, so hard to do and so hard to achieve and matters the least, okay? Being extra buff, number one. Number two, and I've always said this, breakdancing. Dude, you're so, it's so hard. You've, so many years, so many years training, you know, not taking away from how much dedication you have. That's why all these bodybuilders talk about dedication because it's all they have. And I'm so dedicated, dude. I'm fucking dedicated. Yeah, all right, cool. Flat. Now you're bigger, okay? Also, you're like 30 pounds bigger. It's not that much, you know? Or you're, or you're, you, you lost fat. So, and every time I talk about this, people are like, all right, bro, you're a fucking hater. You're a beta. I, I, I work out. So I'm, I'm not like, I'm not upset about any of this shit. It's just bodybuilding and also breakdancing. And I believe this video is both. No? Doesn't he do both? Whatever it is. So insecure, this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't know what to do. It starts dancing. His muscles are fantastic, dude. So insecure. This looks like AI. This straight up looks like AI. The worst routine. God, he's so muscular, dude. Chul soon. Oh, bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, he's breakdancing a little bit, bro. That's so dumb. The guy works so hard at the most things that don't matter. I love it. The head thing is great. This head swivel thing. Unreal. Uh, So anyway. I don't know. It's just like. I'm natty. Took fucking creatine, creatine for four days. Probably stopped doing that. But that's natty, dude. Right. Cincinnati. I don't know. 
my my friend was talking about how he knew somebody on TRT and he's just like so strong and I'm like that's cool but then synthetically you'll make TRT and then your body won't you'll, you'll make testosterone and then your body won't make testosterone naturally so that's great that's cool and so it's like you got to keep taking it and I guess that's okay if you keep taking it but also now you got to keep taking that fucking drug it's like me and Stalopram. Uh, anyway, switching meds though. Too many fucking thoughts in my head. <laughs> uh, I think working out is cool. So, all right, that's enough of that shit, dude. Um, look at look at what this says on my notes. I didn't write this. My producer did one fire. Prob want to stay away from talking about Israel, Palestine, Hamas. Ah, probably. It's all me- it's all just terrible. Um. I want to look at this though. Drake's album came out. Do you like Drake's album? I listened to three of them. That one with Jay Cole's that is really good. My yo dog, I had to look up how old this was when I finished listening to the album. Mm-hmm. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You are <laughs> 37 years old. Joe Budden talk about Drake. Get the f- away from some of these younger n- and stop f-ing these 25 year olds i'm listening to the album yo you're a 37 year old billionaire i get it that you appeal to the world loving you about cole like my shit is happening in reverse like with cole he used to rap about kid shit i'm a grown ass like real jersey city n- i want to hear how you lost your f-ing virginity and then he started <laughs> to grow up mm-hmm. And then the rapping sounded the rapping like an up. adult rapping. Mm-hmm. I'm want to hear adult Drake rapping for adult people. No. The guy just goes, no. <laughs> Dude, uh, what do you think about that? I don't know. Uh, did Drake respond in the comments, you said? Uh, oh, it's in the comments. Yeah, I, I, I feel like... Um, I don't know, but you're number one. You get fucking uh, hated on. Also, he's, I don't know, he's 36. I guess he, you know, he's just fucking and What do you want him to rap about? World peace and shit? Fracking? Yeah. Oh, we, yo, are you, are you, are you pro or (laughs) anti-fracking? Yeah. What, dude. What is it? Straight up. Every time someone tells me what fracking is, I go like this. Oh, cool. And then immediately I forget it. So that's great. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. Um, The Drake album, the, the Cole, the J. Cole song and Drake is so good. And then everything else is sing song, he seems like. And then 21 Savage is on one of them. And I don't get that guy. So I'm old. I'm a boomer. What do you want from me? I'm not a boomer, but I'm a boomer in a way. Um. I guess there was a streaker at the F- Today Show. But that's honestly... What? Was I? Oh, yeah, I was. I was talking about that. Here's the thing about the Today Show, though. Um, Don't have that fucking stupid-ass window. You're asking for it. You're absolutely asking for it. Here it is on YouTube. Oh, come on, play it. It's cool, it's not playing. Here we go. Why is there no sound on it? Is there no sound on it? I just had something you? brand new from Hoda Kotb. There he goes. A new podcast. Where, Hoda's you? New Where podcast. are your clothes? Oh, God. Oh, there's a there was almost a... naked winner. Yeah. I just had something is. brand new from Hoda Kotb. There he goes. Back. There he goes. A new podcast. Where, is, new where podcast. are your clothes? Look, the, yeah, cop, the cops should just be running so after him. What is happening? Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Okay. Well, they... That's the thing. Don't have that window. I I don't like that shit. Because anybody... They deserve that a guy na- naked running by. Because it's like... Have walls in back of you. You're a studio, dude. I don't... You know what I want to see? I, well, I want to see that way more than I want to see this. Um... I, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Um, anyway, um, 
Let's go back to the fucking thing. Cause I, so yeah, I've been eating clean is what I was trying to fucking say. Um, and I been eating like, you know, uh, uh, salmon, uh, this gets good. I know it's boring right now. Salmon, broccoli, sweet potatoes, or as anybody in my family from New Jersey would say, sweet potatoes, um, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Really nothing to, I think I had a chicken sandwich once. Then besides that, super good. No sweets, period, period, no sweets. So I'm like, Saturday night, I say to my, first of all, I say to my buddy, hey, when do you want to hang out? Friday, Saturday, or Saturday. And he says, um, well, I can't Sunday, but either Friday or Saturday. So I say, all right, Friday, let's do, all right. I say, all right, Saturday, let's do it. And he says, okay. Sorry, I say, all right, Friday, let's do it. And he says, okay. And then I say to my wife, hey, let's get dinner on Saturday and do like a date night. And she's like, awesome. Then my buddy hits me back and says, oh, dude, sorry, man. Actually got to hang out with the girl that I'm that I'm starting to see. Can't do it Friday. So let's do it Saturday. And I go like this. No, you made your bed. I asked you to see what's up. You're going to be P-U-S-S-Y whipped, okay? You're going to do that on someone that you don't even love probably, okay? Then guess what? You don't get to hang out now. I go like this, sorry, man, I asked you first, and now I have a date with my wife then, and that's what's up. I'm pissed, but I'm also in love, dude. So I'm going to be so pissed in love on Saturday. And I'm not going to see you Friday night. What am I going to do Friday night? I hang out with my fucking wife, I guess. So now two times I'm going to hang out with my wife. In love, I'm pissed. And that's fine. So Saturday night, I'm like, where do you want to go? I said, I don't know. Oh, no, you know what? Friday night, I went to go visit my buddy. At fucking, I didn't actually. But this is where, you know, you learn stuff as you talk. So I went to uh, this place on Friday night. Met up with my buddy. It was his birthday. And I said, I'm going to take my wife out. On Saturday, we're going to do like a date night. Where should I go? And he says, I don't know. So I'm like, all right. So I look up on Open Table. I'm 43, dude. He does Open Table, right? That's an app where you look up and you can make reservations on places. And I'm like, does it even have nice places? Or is it just a bullshit places? Because if it's on Open Table, how special am I if everyone can use it? Maybe I'm not special. And that's fine. Maybe I need to be humble just by opening up an app. And that's, you know, it is what it is. So I open up the app. Got a lot of four-star, five-star restaurants or whatever, how many stars it goes up to. Whatever the fullest amount of stars is, that's the amount of stars it has on a lot of the restaurants. I look at the dollar signs. It's got the most amount of dollar signs. I'm like, I'm not going to take my wife to some fucking, you know, Chipotle or or, or uh, what's the other one? The vegan place. Vegan house. What the hell is it? I don't know. Who cares? The, the, the one everywhere. What is it? The fuck is that place called? Vegan place? You know what I'm talking about? Hold on, God damn it! I'm pissed now. I I swear I need ginkgo biloba, below biloba, biloba, biloba. Uh, not veal. What's the fucking chain? God damn it! Look at all these ones. That you can't even Google it without. In Los Angeles, it, it still gives you the hip ones. It's like vegan glory and. God damn it! What is the fucking one that is everywhere? You know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. The vegan chain. Yeah. You don't know. No. Oh, my God, dude. I, I don't look. You don't eat it? It goes in and out of my hands. <sighs> I'm so pissed. Uh, dude, you have witnessed me veggie grill. You know veggie grill, right? Okay. He's seen it, he says. <laughs> <laughs> he admits it. <laughs> He goes, I've seen it. I've seen it. Veggie grill. Fuck, man, there's so many of them. I'm not taking her to veggie grill. It's my point. So now I'm like, all right, let's look it up. I look up. I go to this place. I say, I say, is Everly good? The guy go, The guy says, oh, it's so good. Sit on the back patio. So I was like, all right, well, you should have just said the place. All right, fine, whatever. So I looked at the other guy. I said, is Everly good? Oh, it's so good. I said, all right, I'm going to get Everly. It's Italian. So I go like this. Saturday night. I'm just going to carb it up. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, yeah, going to a nice place that gets to go into the place known for what the place is for, Italian food, and then I'm just going to like, you know, get a salad. I don't do that shit. I don't like those kinds of guys. So I'm going to load it up. All right. 
So I go there and I'm like, I don't have to load all up, right? I can eat some, I could, I could, you know, cheat a little bit on the food, right? But not crazy amount. Dude, once I sat down, I didn't even think about curbing it at all. I go, I look at the menu and I say, can I have the sopra seta pizza and also the ragu with the wide noodles? And he says, great. It came. The pizza was for me and her. I ate all of it. I ate the whole pizza with the sopra seta and honey and chili. I ate the whole fucking thing. And then the, and then the pasta came. And I was like, I'm only going to eat half of this. And I didn't even stop. I ate the whole fucking thing. Okay? Then the guy said, want dessert? And I go like this. I'm already all in. What am I doing? Yeah. What do you have? And he says, ice cream sandwich with the cook. I go, stop right there. Bring it. He says, two? I say, one. I say, one, because I think we can share it. But secretly, I know she's not going to even have a bite. So, one for me. It comes, it's way too big. I don't like ice cream sandwiches that are at fancy places because one thing you don't fuck with is a an ice cream sandwich from a store. It's unfuckwittable. It's unfuckwittable. It's so beautiful, right? So you're not going to fancy it, gussy it up like brownies, unfuckwittable, right? What else is unfuckwittable? Uh, shit that they, that's... That's the thing I need to talk to my brother about. My brother's always like, you don't like the good gourmet shit. That's what I got to say because it's they're making shit gourmet that's unfuckwittable. That's the thing I got to say to him is it's unfuckwittable. That's a cool thing to say. Anyway, um, yo, ate the fucking, it, it came, the cookie was too big and it was a little frozen and then the thing, dude, didn't stop me from not eating, ate it. The boy walks around at 205, Okay. He walks around at 205. He's big. He's a tall drink of water. You can't really tell when he gains 10 pounds because of him walking around at six foot two, six foot three. And I'm still growing. I'm getting taller. All right. And yeah, he's angular, but he walks around like a, you know, and he also has a swag. He walks like a ball player. And He was 213, 214. He was. Couldn't tell. You know, when I when I shot my special, I was 213, 214. All good. <laughs> Couldn't really tell because it evened out, right? Started eating beautiful. Just really good. We're making my Italian ancestors be like, you get, hey, you lose a weight, you eat the fucking, eat, eat more, right? Clocked it, got a fucking smart scale too. God damn it, this is interesting. Got a smart scale, stood on it, got it to do the body weight, the 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 bone, dude, bone density. It's got water percentage, skeletal density, uh, uh, BMI, yeah, heart rate. Got it all. You get on the scale, it shows your weight, and then you wait a little bit, and it shows the rest of this stuff. Not once have I waited. I got off of me, so I don't even know the rest of the shit. I got it, paid for all the extra shit. That's how respectful I am. I get on the scale. It goes. I weigh myself, and then it says, calculating the rest of it. Yo, your boy takes the 205 and steps off. You're not going to tell me what my heart rate is. You're not going to tell me what my skeletal muscles are. I want to know how much I weigh, all right, even though you tricked me into buying it. Okay, so now... 203 he gets down to. Hard work, dedication, perseverance, never stopping, sweating it out, getting fancy with the kettlebells. You know what I'm talking about? All right? Super setting on supersets. So I go to Everly, okay? I fuck with one meal. Like my name is, you know... Butch or something. I mean, I fuck with one meal like my name is Vinny. Like one meal. Where I'm just like, where like I'm wearing a pinky ring. Like I don't give a fuck. One meal. I get home. I step on the scale. I'm 209.5. Six 
and a half pounds. That sucks, God. Hey, God, come on, please. Hey, God, it was one meal. Yeah, it was a whole pizza, a bunch of rigatoni, and half of a huge ice cream sandwich. But hey, God, come on, man. Yo, for real? Are you shitting me? Thank God I walk around like a ball player so I still can keep it so fucking absolutely ridiculously sexy just with my swag and whatnot. I'm a fat guy now again. Dude. I'm not even V'd out anymore. I'm like a fucking upside down tent (laughs) with people in it. Two days I haven't been getting to, I I couldn't get back. It's been three days. I can't get back to 203. I go like this. I say, what the fuck? Somebody I know knows a lot about nutrition. I said, what the fuck? She's like, it's all about the salt. And I'm like, it's not, dude. You know, don't tell me that. It's all about the salt. The salt's what kills you. I'm like, you know what? I I shouldn't be talking about this with anybody because everybody's just going to be fucking wrong about it. So I ate clean as shit today. Today, I didn't didn't even eat till 1230, dude. And I woke up at 11. I ate some overnight oats before I fucking went to work out. Got crazy with it. Hour and 20 minutes. Came by, ate eight, eight ounces of salmon. This is so interesting. And then two, three sweet potato slices and a little bit of roasted vegetables, dude. I'm natty. You know? Health and wellness podcast. Boy, I didn't even know how much of a health and wellness podcast I was going to be talking about this, but it is, and it's true. And that's what's great about it. So anyway, that place was really great. Got to do date night more. <sighs> yeah, what is it about when you do stuff? You get tricked into thinking, yeah, I got to do this more. And then you just don't, you know? You know what I'm talking about? You ever go for a walk for the fuck of it? If you go for a walk and you don't normally go for walks and you're walking around with your spouse or kids or friend, whatever, and you don't at least think, you probably say it, but if you don't at least think, I got to do this more. I got to do this more. You're a, you're an absolute robot. You're a sociopath. That is the human condition to do something like that and think, I got to do this more. And then you start thinking shit like, oh, you know, humans were built to do this. Like it was really fun. When we were in our ancestors and shit, you know, they, they built huts, but they spent most of the time outside and in caves and things. You know, that's what you do. And then you just go back and you just don't do it again. That's American. That's it. That's American. And every time I say that as something about American, I always think one time I was in a strip club and I was with a uh, a buddy of mine. We went, to a, we went to a strip club and he went back to get a lap dance and he went with the worst one. And I'm talking about this was in deep North Hollywood. Okay. For people that aren't in Hollywood, they don't even know there's a North Hollywood. Hey, guys, there's a North Hollywood. They know West Hollywood. They might not, but they don't know North Hollywood. Well, guess what? There is one. All right? And it's riddled with, you know, like checks, cash places, and bail bonds, and strip clubs. Okay? We went one to one, and he... Oh, man, it was so funny, dude. He was like, we went to the strip club. It was me, him, and another guy. And we were like, wow, that one's like crazy. But he was hustling, you know what I'm talking about? The the the, 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 the I guess I would say the worse looking you are as a stripper, the more you got to be a, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> just on the fucking pole and that was a banger at the strip club too just chicks come out with you know 16 teeth just pear shaped every day I'm hustling every day I'm every day and like well yeah she needs to you know and then a fucking dope ass just bodied out caramel Sunday comes out and you're just like that's the one but anyway just a beautiful fucking hourglass shaped cookies and cream 
just waltzing out and you're oh you know they do that fucking to that one song they come out they come out to that song how can I get to Ah, shit, dude. Some Portis head. My God, dude. If you want to hook up with a chick and you're in a room with her and you're single and she's chilling and she's got no interest in it, all you got to do is pour some wine and just play a little bit of Portis head. And, dude, get the towels out. Patan it. Patan it. Darling, I'll be right back. I'm going to the bathroom to grab some towels. Patan it. Patan it. Because the fine chicks either dance to that or boom, shun dun dun boom, shun dun dun So seductive. That one. Anyway, um, so the, 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 the ugly ones come out to, every day I'm hustling, you know, because they have to and shit. So she came out and we were just like, oh God, dude. It was like Friday. We're like, damn, you know, and, uh, Sure enough, dude, she fucking hustled my friend so hard. I went back with, with some fucking, you know, she swindled me out of some money. I remember I would go to the strip club and the fucking, the, the awesome, the best looking one would fucking go back. I'd give her the cash and then she'd be like, you only give me this. And she would hide some of the money. And I, I knew it, but I was like, all right, here you go. Uh, I saw her like recently, like a year or two ago and she, wow, looks awful. I just saw her walking around. So that's what you get swindling. Uh, anyway, he went back with, a. so every time I think of, when I think of American male, this is what going back to goddamn. it. I mean, I'm so devolving at this whole fucking podcast, but he, I'm getting a dance with the fucking good one. And then. I come out and I'm like, where the hell's my friend? And my other friend says, you're not going to believe this. He went back with the fucking Rick Ross dancing ass girl. And I go, what? Dude, he comes out after a few minutes, just on his face, just shame, you know? And he says, the, he starts off the conversation with, well, 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 I didn't want to, but, and we... Dude, we had to sit down because nothing's funnier than that. You understand? You did. <laughs> you didn't want to. Oh, hey, but guy, you did. You know, if you don't want it, don't go. Hey, I, I didn't want to, but and dude, we 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 immediately sat down, tears before laughing because it was that funny. We just had to explode. You know. And he was like, and she, and she convinced me to go back. And then I did. And then she was like, it's going to be so good. And, and then, and then, and then, and then dude, he was back there and she was, she was grinding on him. And, and she was like, he explained that he, her butt was on his out. His penis was out, you know? And I was like, God damn dude. All right. You know? And he was like, and I, sh dude. <laughs> He says, and I finally, when, when, when I just, uh, this is how we talk to you, when, when I just, it, it shot, it shot over her ass. It shot over her ass. And dude, and I never, <laughs> and, and the, and the reason why I always think of the, the American male is because I saw that stripper later and she was like, Hey dude, I know how it is. Uh, every guy that comes in here is a hot blooded American male and I know how to work it, dude. And I always think of that when I think of American or American male. And then I think over her, over her ass, dude. And we were laughing when I tell you we were laughing. I said over her ass, over her ass, dude. <laughs> I think about that so much, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. He just shot a load and just. I shot over her ass, over her ass. Yeah. Oh man, it was so good, dude. Previously on shooting over her ass. 
Preview. <laughs> previously. <laughs> previously on Red Ho- Previously on Hot Blooded American Male. I said over her over her ass, dude. Oh god. I just love it, man. Oh, just holding on for dear life, just squirting. Um Oh, wow. That was great to relive that shit. You know, that's why I like this podcast a lot of the time is because it just makes me think of things that have happened in my life that I forget that I relive. So thank you for that, man. God, I used to fucking, I used to love going to strip clubs. I used to go all the time and I just don't anymore. I mean, I haven't been in so long. Well, I think I went two years ago with my wife and some friends and it was to that place on the body shop in the body shop uh on sunset and that place used to be awesome and i guess it's i don't know i've, I've gone once but the, a fire a, a caught fire and then it and then it fucking well, it's not been the same but it, that's boring but anyway strip clubs are cool but i don't i don't know uh my mom's doing good. I know I shared with you that she fell and broke, broke her hip. She's doing very well. She told me to stop getting tattoos. It's hilarious. She goes like this. Chris, don't do your whole body until I'm dead. That's how she brought it up. And I didn't even understand what she was talking about. And then I go, oh, yeah, tattoos. And I was like, Ma, well, you know, what is this, The Sopranos? She was just like, Chris, don't do your whole body until I'm dead. And I said, Ma. And she said, at this rate, I'm going quickly. It won't be too long. And we laughed instead of cried. And then and then I went to go to the bathroom and I'm like, dude, when, when your parents fall and break a hip, like all the furniture has to change and shit. If they're 75, it's just like you got to remodel the house. You, you fall, you break the hip, the whole house changes. You got two level levels, you're fucked. You got to have one level. You can't go up to, what are you going to be? One of those fucking assholes that sits on the side of the railing and just, you know what I mean? You're like this and then up the stairs like a piece of shit. Dude, no. No way. No way. Uh, dude, I'm never doing that. All right? No matter how old I get, no matter how paraplegic, I'll fucking army crawl up the stairs. I, or drag me up there. I'm not fucking sitting <laughs> and going. All right? But, you know, if you have two levels and you break your hip, you're fucked. You're, you're reduced to just chilling on that one level. So you better pick the right one. So we moved all the furniture and shit. She's got like nine potties around now. Because it's just like, I never know when I'm going to have to shit. And I don't know when I have to walk too far. And I'm like, all right. She's joking, obviously. And she's doing good now. But I went to, I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. I had to go number two, not to be crass. And I went in and I I looked at the potty and I was like, what the fuck is this thing? I forgot. Dude, the potties that they give people that break their hips, they they look like you, if you fell asleep and dreamed of a potty. They're like so big and weird. I don't really get how it helps with the, with the, with the thing, but I guess it does. I'm not a doctor, you know. Shout out to my mom, dude. She's doing great. I'm, I'm really proud of her. It's cool. Calvin's been walking around, running around the house. One day he woke up and he was just like, hey, dad, all the food's chocolate. And I was like, huh? And he, he, he picks up toys and just goes, Ow. try some. Want to try some? I go, oh. dude, all the food, all the toys, all the toys are chocolate. We're going to get grandma and pop-pop's house. We call them Gammy and pop-pop. He says, you think that all the toys at Gammy's house are chocolate? I said, well, man, you know, it's up to you. He gets there, he says, Gammy, all the food's chocolate, all the, all the, all the fucking toys are chocolate. He's, the whole time, dude. Kids are hilarious. What was I doing not having kids? I like when people choose not to have kids because of the carbon footprint and all that stuff and not everybody needs to be having kids. But man, if you would be a good dad or mom, have kids because it's so awesome, man. 
Our kid loves wacky inflatables. We got a wacky inflatable tube man. I was with Adam W, internet TikTok YouTube star, and uh, he did a, a set on my tour in Nashville. And my son was there. It was me and Calvin. And he was showing him Adam W that he liked to do the wacky inflatable. And Adam was like, you know, I have one of those. I'm like, huh? And he's like, dude, I have a warehouse full of shit because of my YouTube skits. And I did one with a wacky inflatable. I'm just going to send it to you. So he sent it to me, dude. And I surprised Calvin, or I guess he did surprise Calvin with this wacky inflatable thing. It's 35 feet in the air. And we have it out on my front lawn like we're selling Subarus. And it's just, and dude, Calvin <laughs> loses his mind when this thing turns on. He just keeps looking at it saying, what is it? What is it? So happy. And that's what makes me happy because all I care about is my kid's happiness and, and also other things too that are ingrained in me ever since I was a kid that I yeah, yeah, really hard, hard to get. Like I want people, I want people to accept me. But um, yeah, dude. Remember when I couldn't think of Veggie Girl, dude? I wonder if I'm gonna get dementia. Like I already feel it creeping in. I can't think of things like Veggie Girl. I can't ever remember that one dude's name who's the actor. Um, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I cannot remember this guy. There's an actor I'm thinking of right now. No matter how many times I think of him, I cannot remember his name. He's famous. Dude, great. This this is, you have, you have one of these things in your brain where you, your brain just doesn't think of them. I'm going to describe the guy and I'm going to, and, and, and you're going to get it before I am. He's in Galaxy Quest. He's in the Green Mile. He's in the three billboards of fucking whatever that thing is, right? He, he He's, he's kind of different looking, but arguably got a thing going. You know, and, and not sexy quite, but like was nominated for an Oscar, I think, for I can never remember the guy's name, dude. You know who I'm talking about, right? You do don't say it. Cause I want to get it in real time. This is how long it takes for me to get this guy's name. All right, so God, I cannot believe my brain does this every single time. It's been years, dude. Steve uh um uh 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 I can't He's in the thing with Tom Hanks. He plays the convict. You know who I'm talking about now, right? Why can't I ever get this guy's name? What is it about that? What do you think it is about that, that I can't access that? I can never think of this one guy's name. It's only him. Gregory Peck. I think of him. Good. That guy. I can just do anyone, right? I can, You say a guy there. I say, oh, yeah, okay. It's a fucking Rip Torn. I know him. You know, these are these guys are dead. I haven't thought of these guys in years. This guy I think of all the time. I can't think of his fucking name. Steve. Uh, Sam. Sam. Rockwell. Got it, dude. Hell yeah. That was the fastest I ever got it. That was the fastest I ever got it. And I've even thought. I've even thought. Um, he, It's the same name as my dog. Why? I, that's all I have to remember. And I still can't do it. I forget that or something. Fuck yeah, dude. I need to take Ginkgo Biloba. Dude, what is that? Do you have things like that? Leave it in the comments if you do. I can never fucking access that guy's name. So that's what makes me think I'm going to have dementia. Which is fine. Like I said here before, dementia is the only disease that is probably you're chilling, dude. Because other, it, it's everyone else. It's for everyone else. That's that's, that's a sadness. Oh, dad doesn't know who he is. Um, dad, look and d cut to dad. Just like this. What's my name? Just absolutely fucking. Can you can still you know jerk off, watch TV. And you don't even have to be nice to people because they go like, oh, that's not really him anymore. Don't even worry about it. That's why he called you a raging <laughs> Bleep it out. But it's just like, oh, yeah, that's not him. Hey, hey, dude, I can't. I need to get. That's the one. People say like alcoholism is cool because you always get to be drunk and shit and you're always partying. Dude, dementia, top-notch disease. 
Hey, bitch, get in here. You can just, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, uh, he's, it's not him. It's not the real him. He was much nicer in, in when it was really him. For me, it'd be like, he was a little nicer. Um, You can just be racist if you want, you know? It's fine. Tourette's is kind of cool, too, because you can just do that. I think I actually have a little bit of Tourette's, to be honest. Um, secrets. Secrets. OCD is cousins of Tourette's. Secrets. If you have OCD, you have a higher chance of having Tourette's. Secrets. Didn't realize until recently I talked about it with my psychiatrist and she agreed. Secrets. I have invisible ticks. You can't see them. Secrets. It's the realness, dude. What are we going to do? I've, ta- I've, done, I've done 380 hours of this podcast. What else am I going to talk about besides fucking, you know, the odd bodybuilding bit and then uh, ta- a story about how I went to a strip club and then, uh, you know, the realness. He's got to touch on the realness. 380s. Crazy that I, you know, 380 hours of this podcast and, you know. And still fucking going. We love you, babies, dude. You guys keep us going. And if you're in the Patreon, that's amazing. You guys keep it really going. Patreon.com slash Crystalia. Appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for the Patreons. Um, get tattooed by the Pennsylvania's best Andy Morrissey. Instagram, Andy Morrissey, 1990. Go to my page if you want to purchase a 10-word ad like that. Shout out kind of thing. Uh that's uh, holler.baby slash Crystalia. That's what it is. Um, Yeah, so anyway, we're chilling, dude. And I got new glasses, and I'm just fucking off to the races. You know? I drive around and fucking... My life is good, dude. You know? <clears throat> Can't wait to get back on the road. Going to Detroit next. <clears throat> I like it. I like Detroit. I like, I like Cleveland. I'm going to Cleveland. I like, I like Cleveland, even though most people in Cleveland, um, statistically, are not smart um, because of uh, the the brain drain. You ever heard of that? The brain drain. Yep, it's a thing where when you get to be twenty something, you the smart, <clears throat> affluent, intellectual people want to leave Cleveland. And so there aren't people who further society in Cleveland. Uh, and then people will retire and go back to Cleveland. But there's a brain drain. And that's stats. Can't argue with that. But I personally love Cleveland. And I don't care what they say about you. I think it's bullshit. I love Cleveland. I think, the, you know what's fucking good in Cleveland? The food. The food's good in Cleveland. I think Cleveland is a, one of the most slept on cities that I've been to. It's it's got all the teams. You got football, baseball, hockey, red, red you know, badminton, all the shit. And uh, I don't know. It still gets like a funny like fuck you if you say Cleveland is shitty. I spent many times. The people are nice as fuck. A lot of them are fat, but whatever, dude. That's the Midwest, man. Um. <clears throat> Let me click on this. This TikTok. This is graphic. Here we go. Me. Me. Oh my God, the horse with the sparkly ass outfit. The whole thing's so stupid. Look at the guy with the American hat and fucking outfit holding the horse because the horse is kind of... No. No. Dude. Oh my God, dude. She's in the stretcher. What a cut, dude. The greatest cut. Wes Anderson directed it. Dude, how much does that song suck, you know? Like, let's just be real. Update it. Dude, the, Mer- what is it called? The American National, National Anthem? Anthem? Dude. Hey, get Nelly to redo it or something. 
It's so fucking bad. All the pounds we fall, oh, the dawn's early. Life. People don't even know what it fucking it is. They're saying when they sing it. First of all, it starts with Jose. Can you see? Update it, dude. Get fucking get chingy out there, dude. Okay. Dude, that song sucks. Get that guy who fucking says, what the hook gonna be? Uh Uh-oh. Get that guy to redo it with Nelly and the fucking Saint Lunatics. And fucking Chingy. What's the fucking guy who does the hook gonna be? Mm, mm, mm. The guy with the hook. What the the hook gonna be is the song. Mm, 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 mm. Murphy Lee, dude. <laughs> I don't need no fucking hook on this beat. Uh-oh. Dude, have that guy. America up in her. Fucking bean stalks and parking lots. We got fucking malls. We got outdoor malls. We got strip malls aplenty. And fucking hoes that'll suck your dick and then complain about it afterwards about how you're shitty. We have men who never think about their feelings. We have hot red-blooded Americans that shoot over as over as high in. <laughs> Dude, college kids always go, raw dog! <laughs> oh, Nelly did her right. Dude, that would be fucking, oh, so lit. Just the fucking Seattle Mariners just like this. Oh, say the the election was rigged and Biden lied, people. <laughs> Hide. <laughs> oh, nothing that hurt right. <laughs> Oh, the ramparts, we, whatever the fuck it is. And the home of the. Just a big fucking loose fart. (laughs) Anyway, that song sucks. Updated. Come on, Nelly. This fucking. God, like, you know, talk about. I hope she's okay. All honesty. She got a stretcher, but sometimes they. If you're old and you just like slip and almost fall, they'll call the stretcher on you because they don't want to take any chances, especially because the fucking look at the idiot with the American cowboy hat and the fucking button down short sleeve shirt. All right. And then you got a, a woman who's all sequenced out and a horse who's got no business horsing. Right. And she's just and then cut to. <laughs> Oh, I hope she's okay. Wes Anderson fucking directed it 100%. So, well, got to send that to my friends on the text chat for sure. 100% doing it right now. Doing it on the podcast because I'm respectful like that, dude. Doing it on the podcast. Um, She what? Why? Oh, no. She's trying to get the guy away from her? Like she's got it? The guy probably fucking ruined it, honestly. He's probably why the horse... She's trying to get him away from her? Okay. Listen to it close? Yeah. Listen closely. (laughs) Dude, she said thank you. Oh, thank you. Does she say, does she say, <laughs> no, thank you, bro. Yeah. 
that are you sure bro that's it that is it that is so funny dude no thank you <laughs> Oh, thank you. She says, no, thank you. Oh, fucking shit, dude. And the rockets. No, no thank you. Red flag. Just eep. <laughs> dude, she's, she's horizontal. Eep, eep. Dude, the fucking... The... Why did I think there was a truck backing up noise? <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, dude, she says... Oh. First of all, bad. <laughs> Dude, she says, here we go, here we go. She says, <laughs> she says, <laughs> no thank you, dude. <laughs> Bro, this is one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, she says, no thank you, dude. Ah, oh, ah, oh. and the horse is watching it, later watching her, like, I did that. Oh, fuck, that's great. Oh. Happy birthday to John Ryan. Follow him on Instagram. John Ryan is dead. J-O-N. Uh, go to my page if you want to purchase a 10-word ad. Uh, Holler.baby slash Crystalia. You, um... Let's look at this one. People getting pissed. Oh, I love this one. Pinky. Hi, this is Pinky. He's Wait, a... start again. Hold on. Go. This is Pinky. Oh, He's dude. a male. Wait, hold on. Cat. Go. Domestic short hair. He's available for adoption. He's pet of the week. The one I love about this one is that he tries to hold on to it so long when he should just let it go. Any animal shelter. Like, that's typical male shit. Like, this, if it was a woman, she would just let go and the cat would run away and... Men are not good at this shit. Very loving cat. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Hang on, please. Oh, yeah. Pinky. Pinky. Let her go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, we got a wild cat on our hands. Pinky, settle down, bud. Oh, boy. Careful, Cole. Careful. Uh, idiot with the. Never mind, women. The women's not good with the box, you know? Catch me. Look, look, he said it over. I love excuse my language. What, what did the guy say? He got you in the back. Oh, dude, that guy. I'd punch that guy sky high. He got you in the back. That's so annoying, dude. Shut the fuck up. Let me just get mad at the cat scratching my fucking taint. Get you in the back. My favorite cat attack ever, though. Let me try to look it up. This is my favorite one ever. I, I, props to whoever shot this one. Um... Christmas present open cat attack neck. Fuck yeah, here it is, dude. Man is attacked by cat while opening up his Christmas gift. First of all, this guy's 30, okay? And flipping out like a fucking asshole about getting a video game? He got uncharted, such a dork. Now watch this. <laughs> Dude, the cat. <laughs> wow, the cat just took him to task. He did not like that. The cat hates Uncharted. That's great, dude. Uh, all right. Thanks for chilling with us uh, pod on this podcast. Patreon.com slash Crystalia if you want the rest of the episode. And also, if you want all of the. We've got two, three years of. Um, two years of uh, extra episodes on the Patreon. I gotta be like 30 something that are not available to the public. So go on over there for just six bucks. You get 30 hours of podcasts uh, and all the uncut ones. We appreciate you and thank you very much.